Thank you, Caroline. New tonight, the sale of the Brayton Point Power Station in Somerset is in the works. The owners tell us they've selected a bidder, a company out of Missouri. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado spoke to the company and joins us now from the newsroom with the details. Steph. The company that owns the now shut down Brayton Point Power Station says they have picked a buyer for the property. Big question, what will the new company do with the site? You can see the enormous pair of cooling towers for miles, considered by many to be an eyesore since they went up. Now that the Brayton Point power plant has shut down, one of the many questions is whether the towers will stay. We're one step closer to getting answers about the future of the 234-acre waterfront site. Brayton's owner, Dynagy, is selling the property and has selected a bidder. A spokesperson for the Houston-based company declined to name the company that's buying the plant until the contract is signed. But he said the new company will be deciding what to do with the plant, which shut down in May after 50 years. It was the last coal-fired power plant left in Massachusetts. A study commissioned by the town of Somerset and the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center back in 2015 solicited input from the public and analyzed three possible scenarios for the site, which is zoned for industrial use. This rendering shows a possible natural gas power plant, still a fossil fuel, but considered cleaner than coal, or the study found there could be a clean energy option, like solar panels or a wind farm. The waterfront site could also become a marine industrial park with a port. That third option would create the most jobs, according to the study. The plant, which is still in the decommission process, had 170 employees when it shut down. A spokesperson tells me Dynagy has 15 employees still working there now and 50 contractors working on decommissioning activities. And State Senator Michael Rodriguez, who represents Somerset, tells me the new company is based in St. Louis. He says they plan to clean up the site and prepare it for redevelopment. Dynagy says they will officially announce the new buyer soon. Live in the newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.